Hello everyone, this is Alfred Monty here to get you guys another Isaac video. So this will be my third Lilith attempt in recordings. I did win the previous two runs. However, the recording is being a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, the first time the audio didn't properly record and the second time I was just too quiet. So I'm hoping I'm a little bit louder for you guys and I don't know how this works. Interesting, I wish I was another character for that honestly, but... So, I have a fetus making a fetus, which is interesting. So yeah, uh, I believe this should be a fantastic run now. C-section is normally one of those, or at the very least used to be one of those insta-win items. It probably still is, but I believe it did receive a nerf relatively recently, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure what the nerf was, there's probably something to do with damage numbers. But, um, I wouldn't be too worried about that. It's still a very powerful item. I barely noticed anything. Okay, very simple fight there. And a movement speed up, that is a big difference from the previous one where I had points three three movement speed. Which that was awful by the way. But uh Lilith is looking as happy as can be, so we're just gonna hit it. We're just gonna skip those cutscenes. Okay. Then quick fires, hopefully we get soul hearts, money, stuff like that. So I recently got kind of finished up with my move. If you guys have been watching my community posts, and I'm just gonna do this now. Let's see. So I just finished up with my move, so I am all settled, which is why I started my recording, because where I lived prior, uh, it was a little bit too noisy, so I didn't believe I could give you any quality voice work. But now, there should be a lot less distractions at this point in time. I have a lot of HP, but the last two Lilith runs, I went Devil Deal, so I want to change it up. I mean, I'm just going to do this, so I just keep range. Okay. Good old red champions. So yeah, uh, I moved. Uh, I'm all settled at my new job. I'm sorry if I'm not gonna give you. I'm not gonna give you guys any personal details at the moment until potentially later on. Why did I do that? That's fine, I guess. But ooh, like that worked out beautifully. Okay, so we are definitely on floor two. Hmm think here. Oh, yeah, at least I can get into the store for free, so maybe I can get a key that way. Nope. So, if we end up not getting the key for that, I'm not going to say it's a big deal because we do have some options. Hold on here. That I killed it, I was wrong. And I'm sad. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna fight Beast, I think is what we're gonna need to do. So what that's gonna mean is gonna skip item rooms until we get a planetarium? Where did I go in here then, in that case? If I were another character, I'd play Abyss, but I'm gonna take Dark Princess Crown just for 
the one red heart buff. So I decided to go devil deals because I missed the item room and uh, I'm, I'm like a sight skill issue for that because I angel deals are generally better, I believe, but the uh, early game power is very important to me and missing item rooms is just the exact opposite. So I'm going to try to get as much HP as possible in order to compensate for the lack of items. So here, can we kill? Ooh. Item? Hey, we like Tooth and Nail. That is free curse rooms for the rest of the run. Unless I just time it wrong. Which is quite possible. Let's see. Okay. And also, because we're going devil deals and because we have free curse rooms, we could try and go for a guppy play. Which, that would be pretty exciting. If we could get that. And we're getting some money. Let's see. And also, another problem with us not having keys is that. Uh, even if we do get to play a Terium, I mean, we just won't have the keys necessary to open the door. So we still need keys at some point game. That would be appreciated. But I'm not particularly worried right now because I doubt we're going to get a planetarium this floor. But we have a significant enough chance to be forced to check. Yeah, we got a key anyway. So, I'm not gonna be too concerned right now. Let's see, needles? Needles. Another key. Good, good, good. Let's see, let's do this. Because I'm playing Lilith. I tend to play Lilith a little bit differently than other Isaac characters because of just how she plays. Let's see. I would like trinkets. I would like that soul heart. Let's explore a little bit more. Mm. Nah. Let's see. Now I'm going to go into the mob trap room. And get the money that way. Hopefully get a trinket. No trinket, that's all right. I must get hit by that fly because this is my third run in a row. You think I'd be warmed up but uh, feeling a little rusty. But yeah, I recently moved into my new apartment. So I'm freed up for doing more voiceovers. Uh, for uh, these Isaac gameplays and for any gameplays in general, honestly. So we should be able to have what I would consider proper recording sessions, which I am very much happy about. Let's see, so if you guys have any game suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if you guys don't and just want to comment down below, uh, by all means, go on ahead. So please don't make a double deal. A double deal? Fantastic. Okay, group of greed. You know what? I'll do that. I'll take that. Then, do I have any opportunities to make money secret room it's probably the best way There's nothing there guess number one nope okay that's fine because this is here this is pretty likely Get the bomb beggars here i'm thinking it could be here okay that's good See, and I didn't notice this before, but the uh, item outlines, like if you look at Trinket Smelter on the top left, 
It's not a solid black for me. It's a slight tinge of red, which I don't think I've actually noticed before. So, I don't know why they don't do a perfect black color, but at the very least, that's interesting. So we're not going to go for the item room because we are going for planetariums this time. And we're going to have a trinket here for the red key piece later on. Which, that will give us the extra life for the beast boss fight. I don't think I fought beast on this channel before, so... That's going to be pretty cool to show you guys that. This is, I don't know how many of y'all would have experienced uh, the beast fight, but it's a pretty banging fight. It is banging. So I am hoping that the Excelsior music does it justice, because uh, I did not actually... I don't know what the Excelsior modded music actually sounds like with the beast fight. The soundtrack I know is fantastic. That's why I have it on the mod list. So I'm hoping that it's some sort of metal-esque type of music similar to what they have in uh, base Isaac Repentance. If it's something completely different like their own interpretation, that's, I mean, that's totally valid as well. Then I'm gonna smelt that and just keep on trucking. Could be. It is. Okay, that is hype, and there is a chaos there. Ooh. I have a bunch of rooms left. We'll do that. options and we'll be back for that I am optimistic that we'll get bomb here because of options like right now there we go so I should wait till after this next boss fight before I do anything we'll leave that there That's fantastic. Um, just got tears up, so Dark Princess Crown does not mean anything to me anymore. The movement speed and the damage mean so much more. As far as I'm going to only use one bomb, I'll take the key. And then I still need to do the full clear. Because of Planetarium. Wait, hold up. If Planetarium is on this floor. Just realized that. I'm wondering if anyone was screaming at me on the comment section to wait until I f see if there's a Planetarium before I pick up Chaos. Because that could have been a potential misplay right there. Although this, this video is probably full of misplaced, so that's probably fine, but... Oh. Two bombs. No platinum. Okay. Well, 
Oh, on the bright side. We might be able to get Sacred Heart and a Planetarium because of Chaos. Okay. Now just quick backtrack over here. We're a little bit behind on time. So that's all right. The reason why I care is because I would love to do Boss Rush. However... Spending this much time figuring out this chaos. Lots of keys. You know, it did nothing. I am okay with that. Cat Cups, too. We should do this, yeah. The reason why I'm doing this is so we have an opportunity for the double item rooms and it's ash pit. I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of ash pit, but I know some people have its fans. While it might not be that many, I just I just went back to the same room. I don't know if money's more important right now. We'll see in a second. Okay. Leave that too. I really want more trinkets. Do that. I think we're gonna skip the idea of boss rush, honestly. Hoping for Celtic Cross to proc at some point in any of that. here so I really don't feel like backtracking
Infamy. I think infamy is good enough for me. Let's see, is there anything else? Let's just check here, just in case plant here. Uh, it's a trinket, I guess. So cool. Let's look. I should go in curse room. It's chest. Double keys. Feeling pretty good about this room. Taking my time. Hmm. Bob's brain. Nah. Flight, Double out data miner, but flight's really good. Purgatories, okay. Take flight. It's definitely not Bob's brain. Anything else here? Mm, don't think so. We should be thrown straight into depths too, or something along those lines. Oh wait, hold up. Almost forgot. Over here. Uh, we hope. We have Rip of Greed, so we can wait. I think I'll wait. Because we cannot get... any of the Greeds taken up the shop. like to get rid of this red heart so I can get Corp and one back. Although I will say the tears rate is nice. This is probably worth it, so we'll see. Ah, uh, money. We'll see if it's worth it once we get the shop, but oh, we got our bombs back too. Okay. Chest. Ooh, Dingleberry is an overpowered trinket that is heavily underrated. Much to Manuel. A oh, bookworm, at least. A companion for the floor. Who is it? A fan. Okay. Okay. Card. We got our planetarium, which is larynx. The sun. And best friend. Larynx is pretty good. I like larynx. I like it a lot. Need the full card though. Double bomb in this case. Uh, 
just I feel like it's there. Cool. in a jar just gotta do some passive combat right here yeah flights no problem at all for chub um, I do not know if any more money so I'll wait needles Oh, it's a giant. I did not recognize that at all. So I'll take one last peek. So, let's see. I might mean, as well just. No, actually, no, that's a bad idea because I am going to the beast and there is a shop there. Okay, in that case, we can just fight the boss and be on our merry way. Let's see. We go in that case I'll just take the key here. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um we had a good card up here, I believe it was the sun. The sun. You have no more charges, right? That is correct, okay. So we can just head out guilt-free. So I am happy to show you guys the alternate floors here. So which one is this gonna be? Mausoleum. Okay. Let's see, I'll take keys. Cause we have plenty of bombs. The Excelsior music. You guys gotta get this music pack. Like, it's legitimately unbelievable how much work they put into this music. I mean, it's fantastic. I love it. I love it better than the default ice music for how iconic it is. This just does something a little bit different.
There's our shop. And let's see if it was for the retro vision, you could see the alternative enemies a little bit better. There we go, we clear it up. Let's see. Okay. So I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to more voice overs on land. It looks like we did get our planetarium. Uranus. Heck yeah. Let's see here. So now we get to block out those pesky death triggers from all those annoying enemies. Like these. See, the only other thing I could possibly ask for is probably conjoined. Good card. I'm just gonna use that now. Yeah. And knowing where the secret room is, that's worth it enough for me. Let's just go up there. Snag that, and then we could just start our journey through the ascents, which instead of going down through the basement, you'll end up going up through it, which that will be pretty nice. I think we'll do one of that. That ruins the point of what we're doing entirely. But that allows us to play the demon beggar, so we'll go for it. A little bit more. Oh. Called the cross triggered. And I ate my trinket. Just forget me now. Wow. That is tempting. But that would erase whatever's in the item room right now. And I would like the extra items. It technically would be the same, I guess, but I don't want to go through the floor again. We'll just do this. Yeah, I do notice I do not have that much HP. Just get over it. You mean it's gone? How could you have spent our savings? That is very. Very something, I guess. Let's see here. I think I have to take the HP. It's not my preference. I would like contract from below, but we're getting to the end now. So we're going through the ascents. So we just need to find uh, light beams to actually bring us up. We don't have to full clear. There is normally just the item rooms that you haven't collected yet.
We got this forest item room, so no need to worry there. We'll grab Bob's brain now. This will give us damage. Okay. We'll see if that is worth it long term. Actually, we can do this. Since we're not going to be keeping this. Red Heart. We'll have a full size Meat Boy. We'll see if that helps us out. Getting a little worried. I am now way less worried. Okay, bug revelations and situations like these, it does a lot. Especially when the game just gives us charges for free. Wisps. Anything to increase our DPS. Literally anything. Get wisps. We got wisps. We got our cracky. If you guys are wondering, I am playing on a controller, and a lot of people do prefer mouse and keyboard for the Binding of Isaac, especially on PC, more specifically uh, just keyboard. Uh, you can enable mouse controls on PC, but controller works perfectly fine for me. I do like the granular movement, even though sometimes it can act... Uh, we'll say silly, for lack of a better term. Let's see what we've got here. Hive mind does, as far as I am aware, nothing for us at this point. Now we should be in basement two. Oh, yes. The game is being generous. Now this is tough. Let's try and get more charges on Book of Revelations, and then we'll swap over to Book of Shadows. Because for the first few phases of the beast fight, do that. the soul heart, for the first few phases of the beast fight, you do end up getting char uh, item charges. But one soul heart versus actual immunity, I think I'd rather go for the immunity if I can help it. So we're one soul heart off, but I think we would much rather take Book of Shadows for sure. Okay. So I'm having confidence in Bob's brain with its uh, armor shredding. Uh, capabilities as well as the poison damage that also inflicts I'm very optimistic we should be able to win uh, the beast fight 
But if we somehow don't make it, it is what it is. We had fun while playing through. Let's see here. Book of Shadows. I would say Book of Shadows among the books, uh, not including Book of Virtues, is probably my favorite book. It's fantastic on uh, Bethany. I would recommend Book of Shadows on specifically Bethany. It is actually broken, but Lilith, uh, in spite of the relatively low stats, I mean, some, oh, we have, oh, we have the holy dip there. In spite of our relatively low damage, we're still doing a good job shredding these various bosses, so we should be good. Okay. I will say the dips are getting in the way slightly because of how much they're pushing bosses all over the place, but in the beast fights, uh, they will be completely out of the way because they'll be in the lava beneath, hopefully. Let's see here, got the key. Got some bones from the Samal mod. We will get an extra life here from Inner Child, which is also a secret room item. We got a mom item. Oh wait, nope, it is chaos time. So we'll do that here. And then we'll watch this little cutscene. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and face Dogma. Forgive me if I am a little bit more silent on this portion of the Dogma Beast fight. I just like not getting hit with Dogma. Just, uh, just like a little bit of a skill check, I would say. You can also call it a DPS check if you want. He does have a little bit of HP. Also, I'm losing Wisps like crazy. But I think we should be good. A few seconds here. Hey, okay. Then we're just gonna get started here. Okay, and then you'll see all of our boys get stuck to the bottom there. So we're gonna see the power of C-section here. Alright. 
then you can see Bob's brain kind of freaking out the bottom there. And then, let's see, I'm gonna do that. Just to save on charges. Sometimes it's a tight squeeze. Another squeeze. Go. Yeah, this beast fight. This the last phase of the beast fight is normally the easiest phase, so I'm not too concerned by that. But like I was saying earlier, this music oh, it sounds so good. I am a big heavy rock type of guy, I'll say. Oh. So this is definitely my style, I'd say. Once we get to like 5% I'll start I'll start using my book like here the face tank and we are good so now if you guys want more content like this feel free to leave it down in the comments below I read every comment I respond to every comment I can Give suggestions. I plan on playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Spelunky at some point, so I'm excited. If you guys are excited too, again, hit up the comments. Please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and make sure to look at my playlist for all of my Isaac content. So, everyone have a fantastic rest of your day. Alright, bye now.